to sneak around the back way here. Um, we have, we have um, gathered here today for the purposes of um, introducing uh, Bill Carnahan, the new uh, Local Development Corporation Director, to members of the community. And I certainly appreciate all of you um, coming here today to um, meet Bill. Um, I think I'll have Bill say a few words now. I wasn't <laughs> oh, yeah. I was not prepared at all. Well, I'm very happy to be here. I've been on board for a couple of weeks, and as a few of you have uh, mentioned, got my feet wet. Uh, I'm just learning about the area, learning where some of the roads go, where the buildings are, uh, finding my way. Uh, it seems a, uh, I think, a very optimistic community, and I see that a lot of work has been done in the way of development six years or so in getting, I think, some very sound projects underway and in place. And I think the community has been better by those efforts and uh, certainly hope to be able to continue doing that. Uh, I, there seems to be quite a, a sort of uh, high level of interest on the other side of the border and I've also contacted some uh, domestic <coughs> Officially, as an IDA representative today, former chairman, when Mark was our secretary and did so much work with us and uh, for us, 
and it's a pleasure, Mark, to see that you're getting uh, a little something from us here in addition to a dollar here and there. Never enough. We never could pay you for all the things you've done for us. Thank you. And uh, we're, uh, we're very sorry you're not with us for various reasons uh, that you're not. But uh, you're going to continue your business. Uh, let's give us a little bit. What is Mark Berry doing now? Well, I, I'm still running my own company, and as you know, Bob, we work primarily with Canadian companies that are looking to come down. Uh, we do a great deal of work in terms of immigration. We help them get their work visas uh, and their green cards. Uh, we're going to be very, very involved from now on in the site selection process, finding a location for them. And uh, a lot of people don't know, we do a lot of what I call uh, red tape cutting. When a company, whether it's Canadian or American, has a problem with either a federal or state agency, uh, very often the Champlain Development Corporation is called in the, to cut that red tape. Uh, we work somewhere beneath where the lawyers come in, but somewhere above what the, the typical CEO can handle, uh, particularly if he's a, a CEO from Canada. Uh, and that's proved very lucrative for us. As a matter of fact, uh, we're enjoying right now the best month of my career. And uh, so we're looking, uh, we're looking forward to the all of 1991. And uh, I, I might add that uh, we're looking forward to working with Bill Carstens. He we'll seems like a nice fellow. And, see you as much or more now than we did before. Well, you, I've never been known for my low profile image, so I suppose you will see a little Your bit. Your name again? Uh, Barry. <laughs> Mark Barry. <laughs> all right. Mark. Um, you also are running some seminars in Canada, right? Uh, We've had a couple of workshops in Canada, and we were on our way to planning our third, uh, but frankly, we're, gonna, we're not going to do it this year. The reason is is that uh, there is an entity in Montreal, a large legal firm in Montreal, that wants to do a workshop, and they've invited me to, to help them with that instead. And also, out in the other part of the state, toward central New York, there's a uh, rather large county out there that wants to do a workshop, and uh, they've invited me to help participate and organize that one. So. Uh, we're going to spread our wings a little bit and uh, get well into Montreal and also spread ourselves around the state of New York a little bit. If you saw our show yet or you're going to see our show on Big Brother, uh, Big Sister on what's going on here in a couple, three weeks, you'll know that he's not working only for himself. We saw that new baby daughter. Yeah, she's three, three, three weeks sons, old today. Three weeks today. Three weeks old today. And uh, uh, Dominic is uh, 16, and he's celebrating today also because... 16? 16. 16 years old. Dominic oh. is not my little brother in the Big oh, Brother program. Oh, yes. Okay, yes. So he yes. got his driver's license yesterday, so I warn all the viewers to get off the road. <laughs> yeah. well, for the my warning. little buddy is driving. I don't know how he managed to get his license. You can let him drive your car? So, I, I trust Dominic. Yeah, all right. And I love him very much. So I'm sure, no problem at all. If you haven't seen that show, we hope you do watch it. It'll probably be showing before then. Uh, okay, Mark. Well, again, uh, thanks very much. What little I know uh, about the IDA LDC, I learned from you. Well, thank you. Most of my tenure with the IDA was under you as chairman. I think that is. I'll not correct. forget it. Yeah, all right. Sure. Well, Mark, uh, what else here uh, can we tell you about Mark Barry? Anything? Uh, you're going to stay in our area, obviously. This is your home, right? The office is still where it is. Uh, this has always been home. I've been, depending on who you ask, either uh, too stubborn or too foolish to leave the area. I have no intention of leaving. Uh, there's a lot more buildings that have to be built and, uh, and quite a few more jobs that have to be created. And, and on about six or eight other committees of all kinds around the county, you see it's well, that's you so see I don't Glassburg get bored. Live and so forth. So. We see your picture and you, your, your articles in there. And thanks very much, Mark. And uh, We're not going to say goodbye either. We're just going to say we'll see you tomorrow or something. My ambition in life is to become the next Bob Venn. Well, listen, you, I've seen you. You took it over when we were at the Kim Pex. Remember you did? Why, oh, God. You were doing two jobs that <laughs> Thank day. Thank you again. Mark Berry, the former secretary for the IDA and the executive director for the LDC. Thank you. Thanks, Mark. I appreciate it. Channel 21, Hometown Cable. And uh, we're going to start right here. Nancy LeClaire with Kavanaugh Realty. You're right. And you're also, oh, you're here visiting. You're not on the LDC. No. You'd no. like to be on the LDC. That's why you're Oh, here. absolutely. Okay, she's with the real estate the agency, and then right here? Bud Nevert, an attorney with O'Connell and Aronowitz. Shazy, New York, from That's the great Nevert family that helped to build Shazy over the years, right? Right. Absolutely. And uh, Bud, nice of you to come up and see us. Uh, yeah, I'm glad to do it, Bob. I worked with the IDA, as you know, for a long time. And yeah, wish we did, him luck. We did a contract down there with you uh, for the truck stop, couple, right? couple, two of them. Did we do another? I guess I missed that one, maybe. Yeah. Get involved in another one, huh? Yeah. Okay, but never. And this one right here, this guy right here, uh, former trustee, or still a trustee. Still a trustee, another, yes. Uh, another week, week or so. and a half. Or and our new mayor from the uh, village of Champlain, yep. Doug Agor. Uh, the election was uh, two days ago. Yeah. Two days ago, and, yes. Uh, also, congratulations right here on TV. Thank and you. Uh, Thank also, you. the. Uh, 
the musical director for the Any Get Your Gun Any Get Your Gun, right? right? April so 4th, 5th, and 6th. Okay, we're going to do a show on that here next week, and you'll see it uh, on the 31st. And uh, it just, this is showed for it first. This is just going to be like a little newscast you'll add in. And um, IDA? LDC. Uh, LDC. LDC, same thing. We, we're same we're brothers. We're cousins. <laughs> <We're brothers. laughs> <laughs> Thanks. But they're all in the alphabet. There's too many letters. There's only 26. That's how you arrange them. But right. <laughs> oh, this is the man also, if you'll notice, the Plattsburgh paper. Had the picture taken with Lee Trevino and the others right here. Go, Tell us about that a little bit. <laughs> well, I went down and played a golf tournament. I played in the Pro-Am, and I played with Lee Trevino one day and Walt Zembreski on another. We had a double tournament in Puerto Rico. You enjoyed that? Had a great, Did you ever? great <laughs> time for 12 days, and I'm going back this year to play again. Very good, bud. Nice to see you. Good. Thanks Same for you, stopping Bob. over. Right. Good. Thanks bud never. We'll see Francis, you later. Francis, Bud never. <laughs> okay, right. Bud. We'll see you later. Bye. Two more faces you've seen around Champlain, right here. Karen Mills. Karen Mills, and you are the <laughs> secretary? Yes, for Bill Karstens, the new On director. On a part-time basis and part-time at Kintex, that's the way you uh, Just part-time with um, Bill Karstens and the, the LDC. time you're at, you're at uh, for Kintex? No. No, oh, just I'm sorry. For the LDC. You're not, but you're yep. in the Kimpex building. Yes. Yep. Okay. How many hours do you work a week? About 15 right now. Well, it'll build. It'll build, as you yes. say. It'll build, right? So and this man right here, Gerald Mayo, Councilman, American Legion, nearly American Legion. When you think of James Plains, American Legion, you think of Gerald Mayo, and every other title in the county that he's had, and in the state offices too, and. Uh, very active right now and getting those grants for the town of Champlain for changing our records around. Hope so. <laughs> I was all right, and we're having a meeting on that next week, right? We're talking about those records. Monday, Monday, I hope. Monday, I hope so. And have our area director down here and bring you up to date on what we're doing and where we're going, and yeah. hoping the next grant comes in. Okay, Gerald's on the LDC and has been for some time, and uh, was instrumental in uh, on the selection committee, weren't you? You were right. part of the selection. Committee. I was part of the selection committee along with Mr. Agor. And Mr. Collins, right? Okay. And we interviewed uh, six, five people. One withdrew, and we came up with Bill, and we think we made a good choice. Very good. He's a very always nice gentleman. Yes, yeah, always good to see you, Gerald. Thank you, Bob. Another member of the LDC, the smiling member, the chairman, president, 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 president of e Elaine Dubra, uh, here, and Elaine is the. Uh, just made a presentation to Mark, and you invited uh, Bill. How much time do you, you spend at LDC in the course of a week? During, during the past couple of months, I have spent uh, much more time than I would normally. Mm -hmm. uh, it has been a very rewarding experience because I see that things have been accomplished in the hiring of a new director, in the setting up of new offices, in uh, simple things like procuring stationery. Um, we've had a lot of help from a lot of people, uh, particularly the board members who have expertise in different areas. We have Arnie Beal who has helped us with the telephone. We have uh, Jules Trahan who has helped us with uh, construction figures. We have Harry McManus, who has helped us with financial information. He is also our treasurer. It has been uh, a very good feeling for me to see these people working together towards uh, one goal, and that is uh, the economic development of the Northern Tier. How, no, normally you have two meetings a month or one? Uh... Normally we have one monthly meeting, and that is on the fourth Tuesday of the month. We also have executive meetings at 7 o'clock, uh, the first and third Tuesdays of the month at the Holland Hotel. And in addition to that, she's the one person on the LDC, IDA, that wears two hats. She's also uh, one of the seven members of the uh, IDA, uh, representing uh, one of the two people from the village of Rouses Point. She and Arthur Bowker, and myself and uh, Fred Stone from the village. And from the town, we have uh, Dick Cole, uh, Orville Trombley, and Brian Moore. Brian Moore. And Moore is our chairman of the uh, uh, IDA. That's correct. And uh, we meet generally only when there's something to talk about. We don't have a general meeting because our primary purpose is to help float any bonds. And uh, uh, we did meet last week about uh, a secretary and uh, talking about a, a few problems because of the changes 
of the uh, executive director, but things are working very well, and we've met Bill today, and we, we, we have no meeting scheduled for the ID at this time. Not immediately, okay, no. Okay, we'll be talking with Brian, and we probably will be scheduling something, and thank you very much, Elaine, you're a busy person. Let me tell you that none of these jobs even pay mileage, right? <laughs> Thanks much, Elaine. I, we appreciate the time you put in. Celine and Larry Paquette are here at the Holland Hotel to help welcome Bill into the area's executive director. At first, I thought they were coming to the Winter Carnival. Maybe they were going to get elected king and queen again. They were king and queen. Don't get, keep moving away, Mr. Paquette. Of 1990, uh, right? You were the king and queen. Don't you talk, Mr. Paquette? No, I'm very quiet. <laughs> You the talker of the family? No, he really is. He really he is. is yeah. All right, we can't get Mr. Puckett to say anything. And that's tough, eh, when it was a former politician. By the way, I was in the historian's office today and saw your nice picture there as one of the representatives from the uh, di legislation area one. Yeah, all the his, all the supervisors, all of the boards. I'm doing a lot of talking, and all they're doing is smiling. Okay, we'll let them get back to whatever they were going to do. Thank Celine you. and Larry Puckett. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure I told you before, we're just here for a conference. I'm representing the IDA, one of the people on the IDA. And this is our chairman of the IDA, Brian Moore. Hi. Also a councilman on the, uh, for the town of Champlain. And this is our new executive director, uh, Bill Karsten from Vermont, and also the secretary for the uh, IDA, right. correct? And where are you from, Bill, from in Vermont? I live in Franklin, Vermont. Franklin, Vermont. That's just above uh, Enosburg. Yep, just above Enosburg. Now there's it's two about up 40 there, right? miles from here. Right. One has a library. Which one Which one is that? There's a little library, nice little library on the corner. That's Franklin. That's Franklin, huh? That's the Haston Library, yeah. I've got to tell you just a little story, all right, a little story. I, when I worked for Dun & Bradstreet over 35 years ago, I went to that community, and it was a garage, and a man was under the car in a pit. And I asked him, he gave me all the information, and I wrote it down, and I asked him if he'd sign it. I said, would you sign your John Kang Hancock here? And he signed it, he put a piece of paper under so he wouldn't get it dirty. I got home that weekend, I was working on it, and he signed John Hancock. I went back, I'll always remember Franklin, I went back, and I told him when he saw me come in the door, he said, you're John Hancock. I said, you, <laughs> yeah, I had to go back about 15 miles, and that's what you get for being smart. The garage Bill. and the pit are both still, He's still there. there, right across, okay, I remember that one. <laughs> Oh yeah, I don't know if the man is still there. But okay, that, well he was probably uh, he might still be around. I'll always remember Franklin for that. All right. Um, so, what have you been doing just prior to becoming our uh, executive director here? Uh, well, I've always been teaching privately, instrumental, and uh, I serve on some boards. Um, I'm on the board of the utility uh, over in Vermont, so I'm fairly active with that. Mm -hmm. Have you and always lived in Franklin? For 15 years. 15? Before that, we lived in Montreal for 11 years, and before that, we lived in New York City. So we're escapees from the city. So you intend to be still living in Vermont and commuting? No, it's not that far, right? Indefinitely. Anyway. Indefinitely, anyway. Yeah. That's and a good word, isn't it? Yes. And uh, we will have a meeting, I assume, in the near future, and be meeting Bill officially at our one of our meetings. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. huh? In about 15 minutes. In about 15 <laughs> minutes. No, not 15 minutes. Uh, how, how did you hear about this job? Where did you see it? I read about it in the newspaper, in the Burlington Free Press. In the Press. Burlington Free Press? Have you ever uh, worked as a promotion like this before, where you're getting businesses? Uh, yes, I, I founded uh, the Institute of Performing Arts in Vermont uh, about 15 years ago, and we developed a large number of programs for the Franklin County area, cultural educational programs but it involved many of the same kinds of processes in terms of learning about the community and finding out what the vision of the community was and trying to help realize that vision. Uh, I think you told me earlier that uh, you've already got some uh, contacts and you're, you're, you're doing some talking right now, right? Yes, about we do. Yeah, to the area. They appear to be fairly new contacts. We didn't give a, get a chance to tell uh, Bill what he's on here. This is a local uh, TV program up for the northern tier, the town of Champlain, town of Moore, town of Shay Z. It's on cable, on channel 21, on Access Channel. This is Calvin Castine with the camera, and uh, it's on every night. We have uh, a program uh, four times every night on something. And we don't have news like this very often, but because of a nice new person coming in our area and going to be uh, very visual, and this is Bill, make sure when you see him on the streets that you say hello and welcome to our community. You'll find we have got nice people. Yeah. Okay, thanks for talking I've, with us, I've Bill. I've found a lot of nice people already in my travels around. Good. I expect to find a lot more. Very good. We'll stop in and see you at your office. Okay.
Thank, thank, thank you. you. And that's going to wrap it up here at the Hotel Holland in Rouse's Point. A little get together, some of the local officials welcoming Bill Karstens, a new LDC Executive Director, a local development corporation executive director. And he'll be working out of the Kimpex building in Champlain if you need to contact him. So this is Calvin Castine for Bob Ben saying thanks for being with us in this little introduction here.